Hey guys, um, I said that I was going to review Assassin's Creed Revelations, but the problem is I don't have the game right now, and I didn't want to review the game. I, I already, I've had it, but it's at my dad's, and I've been at my mom's for a while, so I haven't been able to make the video yet, but I thought in the meantime... Because I want to start my reviews alphabetically, so I want to start off with Assassin's Creed series, so I will do Revelations, but right now I have Assassin's Creed, the first one, Assassin's Creed, the original. This game is five years old, so I got it about two years ago, because that's when I got my 360. And I got it at the same time I got Brotherhood, which I wish I hadn't done. Because it did have a lot of spoilers from Brotherhood. Um, I really enjoyed this game when I first got it. I thought it was amazing. Like, I'm, all, I'm so used to being like an adventure person. Or the occasional Call of Duty shooter. Or Master Chief. But in this, it, it was different. Like, you could actually, like, pretty much parkour. I love parkour. You know, you have the hidden blade, you got throwing knives, but, uh... Uh... Plan your attack? Yeah. The, the, the fact with, uh... The fact that you can pretty much plan how you're gonna kill somebody. That's fun. Like, it's hard. You have to think. Puzzle wise makes you smarter. It's different, it's fun. But that's. Have Ubisoft giving you the, the chance to plan your attack, it's cool. Um, open world um, in this game. It's very good. Um, graphic wise, for 2007, it's pretty damn good. I mean, today it, it looks greedy, it, it's not the best. You know, details aren't the best, but, you know, still good. But the cities, the design, pretty, pretty damn good. You know, um, Acre, um, I can't remember the places, um, Jerusalem, Damascus, you know, big cities. Not the biggest, but pretty decent size. But the open world ha having to decide when you can do objectives that's that's good there is no multiplayer in this game it's only it's campaign only so i'm just going to review the campaign i'm only going to go over that but i'm going to over the aspects of the campaign and uh having the crowd react to everything you do um well that i in this game, I have a problem with the crowd. Um, well, number one, the freaking lady that always asks for money. She sounds so annoying. I kill her every time. I don't care what kind of mission I'm doing. You know, either I push her or punch her or something. I do something. She's annoying. And then when you try to climb up a freaking building, she throws a rock at you. If you don't give her money. And you can't give her money. In this game, it sucks. There's this little. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a lady, like, in every city, and she'll ask you for money, saying, Oh, my family's dying, begging for money. Pretty much a beggar, like a homeless person, and if you don't give her money, she will throw rocks at you. Yeah, um. And then there's a problem with the voice acting. Well,. Altair, which is the main assassin, the main character, his acting is good, and all the main characters is good, but, like, the crowd, it sounds like, no matter where you are, it sounds like the person's right next to you, and the voice acting for the, like, the regular characters, you'll hear the same voice so many times that I think they use at least, like, ten people for the whole list of characters. For um, the crowd, and it's you'll hear them, and you'll have the same voice overlapping sometimes, which sucks. But 
having the crowd react, it's alright. I hate it. But that's the don't the only problem I have was the voice acting pretty much and uh how you'll have it having to repeat certain missions like it's a different scenario but you have to do the same thing. I don't like that, but you know, back then the game was a lot better than it is today. But I'm going to grade it how it would have been in two thousand seven. What am I gonna give this Assassin's Creed? I'm gonna give it five stars out of five because not only is it a great game, but it started it's the start of a great series that hasn't disappointed yet. Five stars out of five. Would I recommend this to just a gamer? Would I recommend this to just an Assassin's Creed fan? Would I recommend this to just an open world video game fan? Or would I not recommend this to anybody? I would recommend this game to any gamer. Guys, get Assassin's Creed, the first one. You know, if you haven't played the, this one and you're only playing the new ones, you gotta get this one first. You have to. But, I might be making another video. Like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna get Revelation, so I'm going to review Assassin's Creed 2, then Revelations, and then I'll pick something out of the library over there. See it? The drawer full of games, the whole dresser is full of games, so. I will see you guys later. Subscribe, please, and give me feedback of what you think of Assassin's Creed. Do you think I should have given it a lower grade? Do you think there are no problems in the game? Just tell me, guys. Just, I'm, I want feedback. Like, I want to know your opinions. What would you give this game? What would you give this game? And, um, give me suggestions on what to review next, you know. I have a lot of games. I mean... I mean, if you suggest a game and I don't have it, I might go look for it, depending on how many people want me to review it, but for now, like, tr try to get me to review, like, big name series for now. I'll start off with those, and then I'll go into the little stuff, but love you there, guys. Subscribe. Might post a video tonight of Assassin's Creed 2. See ya.